Hey, you, I need you to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe. You know, this is our heritage, right? This ain't nobody's book but ours. Right. This is about black people. But we've been taught what? It's a white man's book. We've been taught that it's so whole bunch of Caucasian people in this book. And it ain't. The Caucasian people in this book is the devil. Let's show them that real quick. Let's hold, because that, that, that might be a bombshell, another bombshell. I got to, you, you, you know, I'm, I asked you to walk with me, but I'm, I'm running now. So let me, let me back up and let me, let me help you out with that, bro. Revelations, give me Revelations chapter 13, verse 10. Matter of fact, give me, give me um, three and three and ten. Three and ten first. Watch this. I'm, and then give me thirteen and ten. Watch this. Pay attention, uh, Juan. Watch this. The book of Revelations, chapter three, verse ten. Uh -huh. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience. Three and three and uh three and three ten, nine. bro. Three nine. No, three and nine, my three bad. Nine. Yes, sir. <laughs> verse nine. Start at verse Go to 2 and 9, my bad. 2 and 9. 2 and 9, watch this. Revelations, chapter 2, verse 9. Uh -huh. I know thy works and tribulation uh -huh. and poverty. And so the Most High God, he says, I know your works, your tribulation, and your poverty. Right? So now, if we examine, because I said something. I said the so-called Caucasian race, the so-called white man in the, in the Holy Bible, not the fake, not some weird, but this is the same Bible you got, bro. It's a regular Bible. And you can look at the words if you want. I have them turn them around for you. The same Bible that you read calls the so-called white man the devil. Right, right. Not some, not the ones who did, not the bad ones, or the, all the race of them is the devil. I'm going to show you. Come on. Now, who created all races? God did. So did, who named all races? God did. Who purposed all races? God did. Tea. Like if you turn around, look at the tree right there, right? Look at it. What's one? Be, look at that tree right there, right? With, from the from the from the creation of the world, a tree grew up straight to the sky, right? The, one day it used to fly like a bird. It's always been like that, right? When God created, He created a tree, and that's the nature of it, right? To grow, sprout leaves, branches, all of that, right? You water it, it grow more, all of that. that. All of that's the nature of the tree. When he created the races, he created them with a nature also. Everything has a nature, purpose for its creation. Everything, all things. Man, plants, the sky, the clouds. It's all doing what God created it to do. All of it, including the white man. I'm a, another bombshell. We the only thing that ain't doing what God said do. But we gonna get back to that. Watch this. I know thy works. Mm -hmm. I know your works. Come on. And tribulation. And hardness. The hardship that you go through. I'm not talking about, ah, uh, man, my chip was a little light this week. No. It's talking about that. It's talking about the oppression. It's talking about George Floyd. Right. It's talking about, it's talking about, uh, 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 who? Breonna Taylor. Ahmaud Aubrey. It's talking about all your oppression, including your light check. And this land was yours to begin with. Right. It's talking about all that. What other races going? What other races went through this? No. So even if there was another race going through oppression, in the caliber, in the grand scheme of things, scheme of things, there could only be one that God is talking about as far as tribulation, because ain't nobody went through that. Neither can anybody make it out on the other side of that. Right? Come on. And poverty. And what? And poverty. Now let me ask you something, brother. What race rules the entire world? The whites. Don't be afraid to say it, bro. You can't be afraid to say it. You can't. The so-called white race is the race that rules the entire planet. That's the only race that'll go over to another country with another race and say, hey, uh, y'all got one year to build me a base here. I'll be back. That's right. That's the only race that has done that. What other race is strategically placed, militarily-wise, all over the planet. Teach. Tell me one other race, right? It does not exist. Right. So when he says, I know thy works, thy tribulation and poverty, he sure as hell ain't talking about the so-called white man. That's right. Neither is he talking about anybody else who has their own military. Who's your military? <laughs> right. right. Who sits for you and speaks for you and your people's needs in the UN? The white man do. 
this what my niggas gonna get, and this what my niggas need. And that's it. That's that's what happens on your behalf for you and your people. For you and your people. That's how that goes. We don't even consider, damn, how the hell Trump speak for me? How the hell do, what's the new one, Biden speak for me? What, what, what in the hell? Who else has some, another race speak for them? What other people has that? Somebody else speak for them. Nobody. You know why? Because everybody else is not owned by somebody. That's right. Only you are a black man. You are owned. You are possessed by your slave. The same people who brought you in here. I know you thought you was free. You ain't. That's why you don't speak for yourself. Right. right. That's why when you say, why do they keep killing us like this? What? What? How? And then you have to lie to yourself and say, well, it's just that one. Is, he's mean. He's evil. You got to lie to yourself. You have to rock yourself to sleep with something. Because you can't say, I'm still owned by the same per people who brought my ancestors here in chains. Right. I'm still oppressed by the same people and with the insane, same intentions as they brought me here with. I'm still held under the same purpose. A slave. Come on. But thou art rich. God said you rich somehow. How you rich? How you rich? Because I just told this Bible is yours. Right. The chosen people, are you blacks? All these black faces out here, that's who the Bible is talking about. That's how you're rich. But you're in tribulation. But you're, poverty. you're in poverty. But you're, your, your works are hard. But for some reason, Christ is saying you're rich, though. Because the promises of the Bible belong to you. The kingdom of heaven belongs to you. Teach. That's how it is that you're the only race that could go through something like this and come out on the other end of it with more than you, than you came into it with. Right. That old saying, we don't die, we multiply. Only a godly race can go through something like that. Only a people that's not normal people can go through something like that. You ever seen one of us dunk on somebody? You ever seen that? You ever seen one of us get into a sports league and then somebody, the other nations get into a sports league? It'd almost be like, we got to have charity to be like, okay, they did good. That was a good job. He, oh, wow. it's, it's a, so, you know, you know, it's a surprise when a white man dunk. You're like, wow, you see that? When we dunk, it's like, okay, he banged on him. You know what I mean? It's, it's, that's, you know, <laughs> we all get out like that. It's a difference between our race and other races. It's a difference between our race and other races. There is a difference. And the Bible is the difference. The promises of God is the difference. That's why Christ is saying, thou art rich. Watch this. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jew. Uh oh. Blasphemy means lies. Lies against God. Right? That's what blasphemies mean. Evil lies. He says, what now? And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Uh oh. He said, I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews. Our people call themselves the Jews. Our people call themselves the Jews. Hey, sisters, brothers, do our people call, do we call ourselves the Jews? Do our people call ourselves the Jews? No, we call ourselves the color of, in a crayon box. Teach. We call ourselves after a white man's name. Leo Scipius Africanus. And then we mix it with another white man, Amerigos Vespucci. That's African American. That's what we call ourselves. What else we got? Negro. That means black also. What else we got? Nigga. That means black also in Spanish. The other one in Latin. What else we call Afro Latino? Afro we call ourselves by the name of our conquerors. Right. That's what we call ourselves. We don't call ourselves the Jews, which is an abbreviation for the word. Judah of the 12 tribes of Israel. Right. We don't call ourselves that, but it's somebody who do. Who call themselves the Jews? Right. The whites. The white man call themselves the Jews. And God said, that's a blasphemy. That's a blasphemy. On top of that, this is in the Bible. Right. This is in the Bible. You know why you never learn that? Because the same people calling themselves the Jews set up your Christian churches. Gee. They set up your churches. They set up the, the, the or gave allowance to these uh, 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 Islamic institutions also. All lies. That's why we don't know nothing. All those religions have existed since we came over here in chains and we still ain't free. We still slaves. And we worse now because we don't even know who the enemy is. We worse now because we taught to lie to ourselves. They don't got to lie to us no more. We'll raise our children up in lies. That's what we'll do. No, you ain't the people of the Bible. You nothing. You, 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 and when you see these white people be afraid, 
be petrified, be terrified. Uh, 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 you're not better than them. Straighten your hair. That's na that's ugly hair when it's not. That's what we do. We lie to ourselves and we raise our children up in lies. Right. The Bible says that the Jews. Read it again. Watch this. Because I said that they are the devil. The Bible say that, right? Watch this. We got to get that. Then we go back. And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews uh -oh. and are not. Christ say they are not the Jews. The Jews are black. You want to see black? You want to see black in the Bible? You want to see nigga in the Bible? You want me to show you that this is our book and only our book? You want me to show you? Want, you think I'm out here telling you my opinion? I'm gonna show you. Read, finish this, and then give me Revelation 13:10. Yes, sir. But are the synagogue of Satan? Hey, what? The synagogue of Satan? He said, "Ain't the Jews?" I know they calling themselves the Jews, but they're not. They are the synagogue of Satan. They are the devil the Bible speaks of. Right. Even when you heard back uh, 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 50 plus years ago, uh, Malcolm X and all the pro and all the the, 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 uh, the the brothers back then talking about the the devil, uh, white devil, and all. It was biblically founded. They weren't just mad. I'm not out here mad. I'm not mad. I got passion because this is the truth, and our people never heard it. That's right. I'm not mad. It say what it say. Right. It say what it say. It say what it say. Matter of fact, you can go on YouTube nowadays and you hear the so-called white man say it himself. Yeah, we we the devil. We it says it. We just lying to ourselves. Our people just lie to ourselves. They will tell you nowadays. Fin was that it on that? Yes, sir. Give me Revelation 13:10. Watch this. Now this goes in conjunction with what we just read about the Lord said that the, the people calling themselves Jews are not. They are the devil. Now watch this. Revelation chapter 13 verse 10. Watch. He that leadeth into captivity. Uh oh. Who did you lead into captivity? Who did your people lead into captivity? I know we've been taught. You know what we've been taught? We we sold ourselves into slavery. Man, I can't tell you how much of a lie that is. Oh my yeah, God. Right. But we accept lies. So read it again. He that leadeth into captivity. Uh oh. Who is your people? Who did your people lead into captivity? Me neither. Me neither. I don't know either. But we know who led us into captivity. We know who led every race into captivity. We know that we. The Bible says that every race has held us in captivity at one point. Right. A lot of times we harp on and we only talk, especially in in in, in our uh, lying institutions called school that about the uh, Atlantic slave trade right but what about before that a couple hundred years before that the Saharan slave trade otherwise known as sub-Saharan slave trade what about that one you ever heard of that that's when we went slave we were enslaved to the so-called Arabics right that's when we were slaves to, the Arabic sold us to the so-called whites he sold us to the Chinese he sold us to the Japanese he sold us to the East Indians he sold us all over the earth. Right. If you look at these images right here, those are the images of the Atlantic slave trade here in the, in the States and some in the Caribbean islands. This is when we were slaves under the Arabians in their, in, in the Middle East, in so-called Middle East today, in the desert and all that, in, in the deserts, the Saharan desert in Africa. And before we were sold all over the earth, the upper part of the earth. Right. That's why it's called sub-Saharan. That's a ge geographical position. Right. This is the sub-Saharan slave trade. This is why Negroes called themselves Moors, right. which is Latin for, you guessed it, black. Right. All that means is black. That word just means black. It doesn't. It's not a race. It's not a religion. It's not a, a wisdom. It's not a consciousness. It just means black. And not only that, it's what the other nations called us. We didn't start off calling ourselves that. Just like you didn't originally call yourself a nigga. You were first called that by your oppressor. Right. Then you took that on and start t calling your sons and your daughters and your friends and your brothers and your sisters that. That's how that went. Just like that went. Now we call ourselves Moors back then just like we call ourselves niggas today. That's where we learned Islam, to be Muslim, all of that. And and not only that, that's where we learned Christianity too. Back then. And it was fin they finished us off in the, in the Atlantic slave trade with Christianity. Right? Watch this. He that leadeth into captivity uh -oh. shall go into captivity. Now, this says, he that leadeth into, into captivity shall go into captivity. Shall go into captivity. This is what the Bible says, and this is what we and our people have not been taught, Juan. 
We ain't been taught this. That's why we so docile. That's why we so weak. That's why we walk around so afraid. So when we got to show each other how tough we is. Oh, take that shit to the one who brought you. To, excuse my friend. And take that to these people who did that. Right. Don't right. do that. We don't advocate violence, but I'm just saying. Right. Think about, challenge that concept that we got in our mind. We only violent with ourselves. Right. That's it. We only march when they when one of them kill us, but we don't say nothing when we killing each other. That's right. At far greater rate than they killing us. Right. Far greater rate. We are hypocrites. You know why? Because we lie to ourselves. We lie to ourselves. Was that it on that? No, sir. It says, he that leadeth into, into captivity shall go into captivity. And I'm going to let you know something, Juan. When the Bible says shall, that's a commandment. That's right. right. doesn't matter how anybody feels about it. That's a, Just like thou shalt not kill, that's a commandment, right? The Bible says what? Read it again. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Read the rest. He that killeth with the sword huh. must be killed with the sword. Who your people kill with the sword? What race did your people kill? Hundreds of millions with the sword. Who? That's only one race that got down like that. Only one. It's only one race that's still to this day getting down like that. And don't think that it's just talking about a blade, a metal blade. Sword means weapon. That's all it means, weapon. Right. It's still the other, it's still the other nations. Yeah, I gotta go, I gotta go. So wait. It's still, I understand all that, bro. I, I get you. But understand this, you Israelite, bro, we got to keep the commandments. You're not a black man. Right. You're not a regular man at all. You were created to be a God on this earth. Right. Not God, but not all, so you got to wipe all those religions and stupid doctrines our people got. Wash it out your mind. Hear me clearly. You are an Israelite. You must keep the commandments of God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.